Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Joseph. This is Maui Game Studio. Today we're going to talk about how to make a character shrink or increase in size. Um, kind of like in games like Chrono Trigger. For me, I tend to do videos about things that I can't find elsewhere. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Hit me up on Discord. I stream a lot if you want to check in with that. So looking forward to meeting you, talking to you, and uh, let's get going with the video. So here we have our screen, and uh, this is just a blank RPG Maker MZ project, right? And what I'm going to do first, uh, just to get ready for the project, is I'm going to create an additional map to have an overworld map. So now that we have our maps ready to go, we're going to go ahead and set up a event here. So right-click here, edit, new... And then we're going to add transfer player. It's on the second, first tab. Transfer player, second tab. And then we're going to make it go to the other map right outside of the... Okay, and then for this one, we're going to make it so if you you go over this, I have to change it. Uh, it's a transfer player to um, this map. Direction up. Okay. Now that's set up. Uh, I didn't do this correctly. This has to be a player touch. And this also has to be a player touch. Now let's just test it real quick to make sure it works correctly. Beautiful. Okay. So now. Uh, the whole purpose of this video was to create an effect where it looks like the the player is smaller when they're on the world map so that they match the architecture a little bit more, kind of like, again, like games like Chrono Trigger. So in order to do that, we're going to go get a plugin, and I'll leave the plugin download uh, below. We're going to get Aramis' Sprite Zoom. Now, just as a warning, this is not a supported plugin. He doesn't support it. But basically, uh, this plugin functions with script commands. So all you got to do is you download it. So just scroll down here to Sprite Zoom, then just click it. It'll download. Right click, save as. So we're just going to save this right in the plugins folder here. And now uh, I just saved it directly into the plugins folder. It didn't have to go through the downloads folder. There's other ways to download a file. You can probably figure that out on your own. But now if we come over here to plugins, I can add the sprite zoom here. Click OK. And I'm going to make this run um, on start. So we'll do with a parallel. And then we'll do a script call. So here's where you put in scripts. I have uh, the, I always take, when I open a plugin, I always grab notepad and I um, paste all of the readme stuff into the notepad file. So we got here, the first number is your ID. So that's what you want to increase or decrease. The second number is uh, your zoom. So follower, if you want to make just your player, you go zero and then negative one, negative two, negative three for your s first, second, and third follower. So we want to do our followers. So we're going to do one and I want to decrease it to a size 50. And I don't want a transition time. So we're going to make four of these like this. Wait, shoot. And I want to do zero, negative one, negative two, negative, negative three. So now, and let's, whenever you do a parallel, you want to do an erase event right after it runs. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that just to make sure you don't have a bunch of events floating around that are going to slow down your game. Go game, go down. <laughs> okay, clearly something is wrong here. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so it's, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to use a decimal. Yes, that's got to be it. Okay. I don't know why I thought you use a percentage. Here's the big moment of truth. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't work with a decimal either. <laughs> Did I put a negative number in there somewhere? What is happening? Let's try 50% and see if that works. Nope, that doesn't work. Might have to throw out this video. Okay, zoom, duration. So I think I'm doing it wrong. So that this should be... There you go. Okay, so I figured it out. Now, now that we have this set up, you're gonna see there's a problem when we go back into the house, right? Now we're still small. Now, while this looks great for the world map, because it's like, look, we're traveling, it gives a sense of vastness to the world. When you go back in, it's, it's silly because you're inside a house now and you're small still. Now it looks like you're like a mini person. So you just have to do the inverse of what you did inside of the building. Just change it back to one. Now we're small, now we're big. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So that concludes our video. I hope uh, you learned something new. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, check me out on Twitch. Join the Discord if you want to ask me questions directly. Uh, please leave a comment. You know the, the jam. I'll check you guys later. And thank you very much for watching my video. Goodbye.